What it is? Rich TV Live. Ill Kid. Cloud Ninja on the beat. Don't manage you looking at all the candles to ride and we off the handles. It's the heat, cause we bring in all the kitchens out. Other mitts for little kids, what you bitching about? Pockets when they ching the link. Breaking the news thing. for Zenith. I'm trying to get the swings. Uh, you love the green, but you hate the bread. It's like you love the sex, but you hate the head. There's no difference. I finish all of your dinners. That mean I'm taking your place. It's no mistake that you are beginners. You miss me. Rinse and repeat. It's rich TV. You miss me. I'm the one. Jet Lee. Uh, it's time that we get popping now. I ain't never stopping now. You would think I'm floating in the open way. I pop a cloud. You shouldn't even shop around. You should buy a pair of boots. Hate it. It's a stomping ground. This is how the market goes. Just round and round we go. Where we stop, we just don't know. Don't panic, don't panic. Why you stand up all your dough? Just sit back and watch the show. Wait a tune to strike some going. Don't panic, don't panic. Market makers are heartbreakers, the soft stages. Bring the heat with Kenny, just like it's Las Vegas. You hard haters are all fakers. I mob like, don't call me on another song. I don't pause, baby. I don't panic, I just mix it up like Shaka Khan. You stay chipping on his eyes like a soccer mom. And when it's on, I transform like a septicon. I can tell your whole future looking at the devil's palm. You're too weak, bro. Cause you looking at a 52 week low. These are opportunities to see, yo. No peace, though. How cheat? I just move when I cruise to the cheat code. Put the limit in. Stop it if you have to. This is mathematics for addicts to last two. Rich TV live. He a swell guy. He'll teach you how to buy low and to sell high. Yeah, I get money because it's all sweet. You're looking at the real wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, I get money because it's all sweet. Yeah, you're looking at the real wolf of Wall Street. This is how the market goes. Round, round and round we go. Where we stop, we just don't know. Don't get it, don't get it. Why you spent up all your dough? Just sit back and watch the show. Don't panic, don't panic. Get the wheels off. That's just another track wow. by Ill Kid. That's just pure gold. That is pure gold. Uh, Andrew Left. Pure gold. Andrew Left has made a lot of money shorting our picks. I promise you guys that. It was his goal to short Xenobis. Well, not Zen Maybe. I don't even know. Andrew, are you shorting Xenobis? Um, it was his goal to short Namaste. And he succeeded. He succeeded. Took it all the way to the ground. But when a stock goes all the way down, that is a buying opportunity. Now, I'm an Aquarius. It's true. And as an Aquarius, I kind of think 50 years ahead of my time. So I apologize if I find stocks that explode over time. I apologize. I know. It's difficult. Like, if you've been watching us for two and a half years, we correctly predicted first on YouTube before anybody else, Aurora Cannabis, Afria, Kronos Group, can it, can it be Growth Corp, the HMMJ ETF, Organogram, TWLO, Facebook, Amazon, Twitter. These are all companies that I've talked about over the last two and a half years. You can go back, rewind all the videos, and take a look at all of these companies that I've been talking about that I thought in the future would go higher. And two and a half years later, when you look back, you see they are all higher. They're all higher. So then I see this news. Thank you to our members, Stephen and Andrew, for making me aware of this news. Breaking news from Zenibus. Cannabis operator Zenibus Global scales rapidly by relying upon innovative financing techniques. Now, this is an exclusive interview with Zenibus CEO Andrew Grieve. In January, Zenibus Global Xena in Canada, otherwise known as the Warrior Princess, to our community members on Telegram. If you haven't joined our Telegram thing, you guys are totally missing out. There is no other community like that. 24-hour stocks, sports, entertainment, and just, um, yeah, more stocks. So, yeah, it's pretty good. 
platform and we have about 847 members i believe we want to hit that thousand mark so let's let's you know if you haven't joined our telegram join the telegram if you haven't followed us on youtube or hit the like button yet do that now and if you haven't followed us on all social media you need to follow us everywhere because when i'm not live here i'm live somewhere else you know like we're building everywhere we ain't just building here so you need to be aware of that we're, we're putting out a lot of content everywhere we take a lot of pride in putting out content first and putting out winners first. A lot of investors and a lot of people that pick stocks, they like to give you stocks um, after they explode or stocks that have already exploded. And they like to beat their chest and talk about how great they are and how you know they call that stock first. We really take a lot of pride in trying to find the stocks first and tell their story. We can't control the stock market. I can't control Zenibus. I can't control the insider selling. Come on, Ricky, don't sell. Hold that baby. Ricky, you got 20 million shares. Let's let's talk some numbers. If you hold your shares until Zenibus gets to 10 bucks, you got yourself tw uh, $200 million. Um, if you sell at a dollar, you only got 20 million. Now, don't get me wrong. 20 million is damn good. I know it's life changing. I'm sure. I don't know your financial situation, but 20 million, I'm sure can help most people. But 200 million, I mean, that's generational wealth. So why not just wait? Wait a little bit, you know, support the deal. See it go to 10 bucks. Sell at 10 bucks. I can't control the stock market, man. I can't control what Ricky Brar does. I can't control what insiders do in the stock. I'm just a little guy in the trenches like everybody else. I only got 26,000 shares. But I want more. So, you know, if the shorters want to short our picks and that's their game, that's fine. We'll continue to take advantage of these opportunities, these once-in-a-lifetime opportunities in one of the fastest-growing sectors in the world, and we'll continue to buy great companies at a low price. If Xenobis is being shorted and if there's insider selling and people don't know, then eventually they're going to know, and then they're going to realize this is a great company. It's undervalued. It's underappreciated. It's underexposed. Matt, do you guys hear the dog? I think he's a fan of Rich TV Live. I think he's a fan. So, yeah, Zenibus Global was formed in January. It's not like they've been around for like five years, six years, like Canopy Growth. They've been around for nine months. But everyone says, what's wrong with Zenibus? I say nothing. The company's growing faster than most. The company's growing faster than most. So, Zenibus, Z-B-I-S-F in America, Z-E-N-A in Canada, was formed as a result of the reverse takeover of Bevo Agro by Sun Farm Investments. Ricky Brar was one of the co-founders of Sun Farm Investments. This is why he has so many shares. So when they did the reverse takeover of Bevo Agro by Sun Farm Investments, Ricky Brar, who was co-founder of Sun Farm Investments, got a block of shares. And apparently he wants to sell. But on Twitter, he's very positive about Zenibus. Thank you about the positive tweets. Ricky, it means a lot. In less than a year, the company has increased its license production capacity from five tons to more than 50 tons. CEO Andrew Grieve spoke with New Cannabis Ventures about the company's values, growth strategy, and approach to funding. The audio of the entire conversation is available at the end of this written summary. Okay. Maybe we can hear it. Grieve has a background in finance and technology ventures as well as the military before becoming CEO of Zenibus, Grieve worked with the Bene family, the majority owners of Bevo Agro, where the family first considered entering the cannabis space. They asked for his perspective. Grieve helped orchestrate the RTO that formed Zenibus, and the board of directors asked him to fill the role of CEO. Interesting. This is how it all came about, huh? This is how it all came about. Look who we got here. Who do we got here? We got Steven. We got Isaiah. Isaiah says, Zena, world domination. Steven George says, Zena meeting. Yeah, man. Zena meeting. Let's go. Matt Hancock says, bring that good news. You guys know I love the news, and you know I love Zenibus, and I'm a holder of Zenibus. Steven says, that's a namaste hat. Oh, namaste Zena hat. No, it's an organogram hat. Drew D says, I want more Zena. <laughs> nice. Uh, Isaiah says, I have 10K but want more. Yeah, I mean, if these great companies go down, let's just buy them. And eventually they're going to explode and we're going to make a killing. I mean, that's just the way you do it. Veteran and Humble Analysis says, Stocks in Play. Bay Street says, Zenibus and Rivers. Well, I own both, so let's go. 
Uh, Stephen George says 30K and counting. Wow, you got 30K shares of Xenobus? Wow, beast, beast mode. Jack Robin says real brands still being accumulated, heavy rich. Nice. Drew D says 8K Xena, 5K Rivers, need more of both. I like the way you're thinking. Uh, Drew D says long on both of them. This is how we get wealth. Buy great companies at a low price and hold. Let them grow. And when they grow, we grow. Eventually, one day, they buy back shares. They pay dividends, and we just laughing. SNICP says, what's up, Rich? Hap Slayer says, let's go, Xena. Flowers is a must. Okay, says, smoking or forbidden fruit. It's cherry pie. X tangerine. Okay. Um, Stephen George says, Xena has to keep their noses clean. Oh, Xena is very clean. Xena is slow and steady wins the race. Habslayer says, Ricky, Ricky Brar, CEO and chairman at Brains by Sudical Corp. Yeah, that's his new venture. Skybond says, hey now. How you doing, Skybond? John Hughes says, hey Rich, what's up champ? I will buy Xena again. Yeah, well, if you're going to buy it, guys, let's buy it at the bottom. Jimmy says, I'm a holder of Xenobus. You and me both, Jimmy, and I think a lot of people watching. Kyokushin Trader says, Radiant going up. Is it? I love me some Radiant Technologies, man. It's good to see that because they've been getting beat down. Let's see, Radiant. Radiant Technologies, Inc. Radiant Technologies, Inc. Yeah, Radiant Technologies Inc. is at 80 cents. It's up 6.67%. Let's see here. Oh, it's definitely gone up from 70 cents to 80 cents here in the last five days. The bottom of the chart shows. bottom of the chart shows 65 cents it's the low low and it's currently at 80 cents radiant technologies and it's been as high as i know it's been as high as two dollars in the last couple of years over two dollars it's been as high as 219 january 9th 2018 so radiant technologies is definitely one that uh, you guys should be watching <laughs> oh man thank you john um john hughes says i sold xena shares to get more acb but i will buy xena next week yeah i think the key is just to buy these great companies at low prices Andy says, only have 500 shares, 9,500 more to get. I see you still bullish on Xena. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I be bullish on Xena? The price is an indicator of where they are today. It's not an indicator of where they're going. So as an investor, you got to be able to think into the future. And Xenobis to me is was never a company I was buying just to make money on a quick flip. I was buying this stock because I've been to the facilities. I've seen them myself. I've seen the way the management carries themselves. I've seen the security they have. I see the way that they're doing business. And I just believe that they're going to be a giant. And based on all the news and all the growth, to me, it just feels like a company that has so much potential. So I love the fact that we can get in now early at these levels. And if it goes lower, I'm going to buy more. And I'm going to continue to accumulate. Because for me, this is a sector that will only get bigger. And if you look at and you remember Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin has had ups and downs, but it went down for a while. It went from 21,000 all the way down to 3,000. And then it exploded back up to about 15,000. And now it's back down to around 10,000. Stocks are going to go up. Cryptocurrencies are going to go up. Houses, real estate are going to go up and down. Gold and commodities are going to go up and down. That's investing. So if you're afraid of investing because stocks go down, then you shouldn't be investing. And if stocks go down and it makes you angry, you shouldn't invest. What you should be doing is you should be buying when they go down. And then when they go up, instead of talking about how great you are, you should be selling. That's what you should be doing. Now, we're going to get into the Zenibus news, but we need a few more likes, guys. We got 17 likes, 54 people watching. Is there 37 people that don't like me here or don't like this news on Zenibus? 
So I would love for you guys to smash that like button. Let's get 100 likes. We're live. We're interactive. It's a Friday. The birds are chirping. The dogs are barking. Like, who else does this? I'm a high times investor. I'm an investor in Xenobis. I'm an investor in Aurora Cannabis. I'm an investor in Hexo. I'm an investor in Rivers. I'm an investor in a lot of stocks, man. Lots and lots of stocks. So, you know, I've been in this game for as long as anybody on YouTube. And I'm going to continue to be in this game. And uh, we're going to dominate this game. That's why we're here. We didn't come here to just participate. We came here to dominate. I promise you guys that. And Xenobis is going to dominate. And they're not just going to be in Canada. They're going to be international because they're working with Tilray. And Tilray is already international. And Tilray is one of my favorite companies that a lot of people don't really talk about. But Tilray is a beast. Tilray is a giant. Now, if you guys haven't gone to www.richtvlive.com, you should go there and you should subscribe. We're building a newsletter. We've got an options platform that we're launching next week. We'd love for you guys to join us in learning options. I've started to realize that with options, you can actually make more money with less risk. You can make more money with less money. It's crazy. And because we're the first always to find the bottoms and we're great at hunting bottoms, options just seems perfect for us. And um, we're going to start really mas mastering options as well as as futures, which I have guys that I work with that are very successful at futures trading as well, and as well as equities. So we want to be a major player, Rich TV Live, in breaking the news, breaking down stocks, and analyzing them. But the thing people have to remember is if you want to make money on stocks, you need to think long-term. Because long-term investors like Warren Buffett, who is the best investor ever, is a long-term investor. And what Warren Buffett says, which I really, it resonates with me, is time in the market is more important and more valuable than timing the market. Cheers to Warren Buffett. So we're going to spend our time in the market and we're going to grow and we're going to accumulate these cannabis stocks. But we don't just have to buy cannabis stocks. We can buy Visa, MasterCard, American Express. Why? Because people are going to keep getting in debt. Household debt is going crazy everywhere. People are going to keep borrowing against their houses. People are going to borrow against their stock. People are going to borrow against everything they got. So people are going to continue to use financial instruments, debt instruments. So Visa, MasterCard, American Express, they're gold. You know, what else is gold? Shopify. Shopify has exploded. They've been a giant. Look at Beyond Meat. They've been a giant. These are all companies that we've been talking about in our community. What about Amazon? Oh, they're just a giant. Tesla, they're a giant. Facebook, they're a giant. These are stocks that you should be holding in your portfolio too. You shouldn't have a portfolio that looks like 100% penny stocks. You shouldn't have a portfolio that looks like 100% cannabis stocks. You need to diversify your portfolio. Now, if you want to take risk, understand that cannabis stocks are more risky. Understand that penny stocks are more risky. And penny stock is considered, like on Wall Street, I guess, anything under $5. So if you want to be a good investor, you need to diversify. Because when you diversify, when one industry is down, another one might be up. Or when two industries are down, another one might be up or vice versa. So you want to diversify yourself so that you have liquidity. Liquidity gives you the ability to take advantage of trends and take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. So you want to be liquid. You don't want to be stuck. And that's the biggest problem that us as traders have, especially long-term investors. Sometimes we get stuck. We buy a stock. It goes down. We get stuck. We don't want to sell for a loss. So what do you do? All you can do is wait or buy more. So the key is to really do the research in the beginning before you buy that stock so that if you buy that stock and it goes down, you're comfortable buying more if it goes down. So research is really the key to this whole game. Thank you guys for the 30 likes. I appreciate you. Eh? By, by the way, I appreciate each and every one of you. And it is my goal for you to become independently wealthy, have financial freedom, and do what makes you happy in your life. That is my goal. It's not my goal to do anything other than see you become successful. I have no hate in my heart for anybody. Even the haters have a place at Rich TV Live. Even the trolls. Even negative people. 
even people that panic. They all have a place here at Rich TV Live. They'll always have a home here at Rich TV Live. We will not reject them. All we ask is that you stay positive. Don't panic. Stay positive. Invest in the best because the best is blessed. And invest in yourself because you deserve it. You know, there's some great athletes out there. and Some of the greatest say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. If you don't take a shot, you'll never know. So if you've taken a shot and the stock has gone down, don't be down on the fact that you're down. Be happy about the fact that you took a shot. And now think about how you can fix it. Are you going to wait? Are you going to buy more? Are you going to take a loss? Those are your options. So whenever you make an investment, the key is the research before you make that investment. So that after you make that investment, you can live with the investment that you made. Xenobis, I've seen this stock go from six from two dollars to six eighty-five. Then I've seen it go down to two twenty-five, where they raised twenty-five million dollars because they needed to grow their facilities. Now they've found all these new financial instruments and ideas on how they can actually fund their facilities without actually diluting the stock because they've seen that there's been too much dilution in their stock. They have a very complicated share structure. So let's get into how Xenobis has done this. Xenobis team and values. This is what I like about the company. I like the team and I like the values. The company and its team are built around a shared set of values. Compliance, huge. Can't trust, have you heard of compliance? <laughs> responsibility excellence and delivery grieve is joined on the management team by other leaders like chief growing officer leo benet who was the founder of bevo agro which is a plant propagation business which did 18 million dollars last quarter Zenabis's cannabis business only did 7 million collectively 25 million if you go on new cannabis ventures they only show their cannabis revenue that's why they're down on the list if they added their plant pro propagation revenue they would be much higher on the list but because that's not cannabis sales they don't add that to the list but the revenue is actually much more vibrant and growing faster than most in this sector and has a chance to grow exponentially into the billions because not only do they have plant propagation, but they've got cannabis, and both are growing exponentially. Grieve is joined on the management team by other leaders like Chief Growing Officer Leo Bene, Chief Revenue Officer David Luncor, and CFO Mike Smith. Bene helped build Bevo Agro from 2.5 acres to more than 50 acres. Yeah, and I've seen the facilities in Langley. They are ridiculous. That's the 2.1 million square foot Langley facility. That's his facility. Luncor has the depth of experience in the CPG and grocery space. Smith served as a CFO of a company that later sold to Canopy, according to Grieve. Interesting. Rapid growth. Xenobis started as a relatively small producer with just five tons of capacity. The company increased that capacity to 50 tons at a rapid pace, and it aims to reach 140 tons of licensed capacity by the end of the year. Do you guys see that growth? From five tons to 140 tons in one year? So I don't really care about the price. I like the growth. I don't see too many companies growing like this that are trading at these prices. The company's business model combines that high level of growth with a low cost of cultivation and production. For example, the company's cost of cultivation at its Alphaville, New Brunswick facility in the second quarter was 78 cents per gram, which is much lower than I've seen with much larger companies like Aurora, who, based on what I remember reading their quarter, they're at $1.14. These guys are at 78 cents and at their Langley facility, they are quoted as saying they will be at 50 cents cost per gram in Langley. Cultivation and distribution. Xenobis has four licensed facilities in Canada, a 25,000 square foot indoor facility in Delta, which I've seen, which is kind of like a, it's more like a small facility, a testing ground, but they have a vault there and it's very secure. 
a 460,000 square foot facility in Langley, Br British Columbia, part of a larger 2.1 million square foot greenhouse, which I've actually physically been to. I've made videos of, I've been to this facility. I've done tours of a 200 and I've met Leo Bene, a 255,000 square foot facility in Stellarton, Nova Scotia, and a 380,000 square foot facility in Alphaville. That's four facilities from coast to coast across Canada strategically positioned on both coasts, which are also port cities, which you can then ship internationally from the East coast of Canada and the West coast of Canada by being on port cities. Do you understand what these guys are doing? They're setting themselves up to be a global giant. <laughs> They're going to be supplying the world. Additionally, the company has a 10.5 acre site in Alder Grove, British Columbia, and a five acre site in Pitt Meadows. Oh, that's their fifth and their sixth sites. British Columbia for floral propagation and cultivation of hemp. <laughs> These guys are getting into everything. Everything. Zenibus Langley facility. The company has an extensive distribution network that spans nine provinces and the Yukon Territory. Zenibus has medical distribution through an online platform and partnerships with Shoppers Drug Mart and PharmaSave, two of the largest names out there. Outside of Canada, Zenibus expects to have its first shipments to the EU through its Malta joint venture in the fourth quarter of this year. So they will be shipping internationally. And they also work with Tilray, which works international. The brand portfolio. Capacity is only part of what it takes to become a major player, according to Grieve. And Grieve is a very young CEO, and a lot of people are asking for him to be fired. And I ask why. Why are you asking for him to be fired? I don't see any reason why he needs to be fired. I feel like these guys are doing a very good job. Outside of the share price, I feel like this company is moving in the right direction in every other key area. Outside of share price, and cleaning up their float. I feel like this company is moving in the right direction in every other key area. The company is also focused on having products that consumers want, both flower and value add options. The company's current brand portfolio includes the premium recreation brand Namaste and the medical brand Zenibus. The company also plans to launch Founders Reserve a micro cultivation brand through Zencraft Grow program. Zenibus soon will soon have one of the first micro cultivation licenses through a partner, according to Grief. So some of their partners are Zenibus, Beta, Zencraft Grow, Canology Labs, Blazery, a Zenibus brand portfolio, and Namaste. This is where it gets interesting: fundraising and capital allocation. Zenibus has done a number of financing deals since it formed at the beginning of 2019. It has focused on finding innovative ways to secure capital while minimizing dilution, according to Grieve. For example, the company has secured prepaid supply agreements with Tilray and Starseed. Huge, huge, huge. Tilray is huge. I love Tilray. I love Tilray. I love Tilray. One of my top five companies for 2020. The company received $40 million in cash from those two deals. Zenibus traded a limited percentage of its 2020 volume for cash that is non-dilutive at pricing, according to Grieve. So they sold product for cash so they wouldn't actually have to give up stock to a funder, which is what most companies have had to do, which would have diluted their stock even more and bring the price down even more. At the beginning of the year, Zenibus secured a 51 million credit facility. More recently, the company took on an additional 25 million in senior secured debt financing with limited dilution. Zenibus opts to pay a higher interest rate in exchange for less dilution, according to Grieve, which I think is fine. I'm okay with that. The funding has helped the company accomplish the significant ramp up of production capacity in a short time since its inception, and it has provided insufficient sufficient working capital to help the company be cash flow positive. There it is. Let me read that again. That funding has helped the company accomplish the significant ramp up of production capacity in the short time since its inception. Nine months. Nine months. Not five years like Canopy. Not five years like Aurora. Not five, six years like Afria. Nine months. Beyond that, the funds will be used to explore different products. Grieve does not currently see the need 
to raise more capital. I love it. The funding has helped the company accomplish the significant ramp up of production capacity in the short time since its inception, and it has provided sufficient working capital to help the company be cash flow positive. We want to see cash flow positive, and then we want to see those numbers explode. Okay, that's what we want to see. See that B? Man. So this is big. This is so big. And I apologize for bringing you Xenobus before it explodes. I apologize. I'm sorry if I'm getting you into one of the best opportunities ever before it explodes. I apologize. We did the same thing on Zoom Away Travel. We did the same thing on Organogram. We did the same thing on Aurora Cannabis. We did the same thing on Afria. We did the same thing on Canopy Growth. I remember when Canopy Growth was at five bucks. Then it went to 17. Then everyone said they were spending too much money. They weren't making any money. Then they went down to nine bucks. Now, then they went to 70. And now they're back down to like 35 ish. And it's just, it's comical. Good companies are going to grow. And one thing I learned, I was speaking to Felix, who is our options expert that we're going to be working with. And I would love for you guys to join us in learning options trading. And he said to me, he goes, Rich, the market is all knowing. The market is smarter than you think. The market is all knowing. So when a stock is down, there's a reason. When a stock is up, there's a reason. All of those variables are priced in. And it made me think. Maybe Tilray is worth over $30. Maybe... Canopy is worth over $35. Maybe Xenobis is only worth a dollar right now. But what is it going to be worth in five years? What's it going to be worth in 10 years? And I apologize being an Aquarius. I think 50 years ahead of my time. So sometimes I'm buying a stock thinking it's going to go up, but it won't go up for a year or two years. Like Organogram. I started talking about Organogram in 2017. And they went from a dollar to $2. And then they had issues with pesticides in their crops. At the time, everybody started to panic and they started to sell. And I went live and I said, don't sell. This company is a giant. This is a buying opportunity. One day you're going to remember these videos and you're going to say Rich was right. I'm going to go back and I'm going to find that video. I'll do it when Organogram is at 20 bucks or 30 bucks. But anyways, Organogram went from a dollar to $10. Yeah, it took two years. But if you bought Organogram in 2017 when I brought it to you first, you'd be up a thousand percent. If you waited two years. Now, if you waited only a few months, you probably might have lost. You might have won. I don't know. But the way my brain thinks is I try to find companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed before they explode, before they have that crazy lift. I'm not the guy that's going to jump on a bandwagon and bring you guys a pick and be like, buy it now. Like I brought you guys DCGD, but I didn't tell you to buy it. I wanted you guys to watch it. And what happened with DCGD, as soon as I brought the pick, it went up for another day, another two days, and then it got shorted. Why? Because shorters are watching. So if you know that you've been watching Rich TV Live and you know that shorters are watching and they're shorting my picks, you should not buy my picks. Now, if the picks go down and they hit a bottom and they're at a 52-week low and they're a great company, you've done their research and you love them and you want to buy them, then, hey, you know what? You're doing the right thing. But I'm not telling you what to buy. I'm not telling you when to buy it. I'm not telling you when to sell. But a great investor once told me that if you buy great companies at a low price and you wait, it's like picking cherries. Eventually it will explode and you will be able to make a fortune. And that's how fortunes have been built in both the stock market in real estate, commodities, cryptocurrencies, every single different way to make money, fortunes are built by people that buy and hold. Fortunes are made by people that buy and hold, and then when they see returns, sell. That's how fortunes are made. I never heard of anybody becoming successful and making a fortune by panicking, ever. 
So think about your strategy, think about how you want to approach it and think about what you're doing and look at your portfolio and ask yourself, when you look at your portfolio, can you sleep at night and do you own the best? Because you deserve the best. Like you might not be able to walk down the street and pick up the hottest girl, but you can buy the best stock. Nobody can stop you from buying the best stock. You might not be able to go and you might be a woman and you might not be able to walk down the street and pick up the hottest guy, but you can buy the best stock. Nobody's stopping you from buying Amazon. Nobody's stopping you from buying Aurora. Nobody's stopping you from buying Canopy Growth. This is what I love about the cannabis sector and what I love about the stock market. The other thing I love about the stock market and what makes it different than real estate, and I love real estate too, but there's a difference. With stocks, you can buy a stock and I can buy the same stock. With real estate, if you buy that house, I can't buy your house. You own your house. I mean, we could work together or something, but it's way more complicated. With stocks, we can all buy the same stock. We can all make money on the same stock. How fantastic is that? How fantastic is that? We can all buy the same stock. That's what makes it fun too. So there's a lot of things I love about the stock market. And finding winners before they explode, it's a gift. And not everybody has it. We've got members in our community that have it. Like Justin, you know, he, he calls himself Aurora's number one fan. He got in at 60 cents. He's been up, like he's turned 25 grand into over 250 Gs. And he hasn't sold for three years. And he will not sell for another four. And he has a bulletin board of all the quarterly growth of Aurora for the last three years. And he keeps track of it. And every single quarter they grow. And I love it. I love the way he thinks. And he's been very successful doing that. And then he brought a Zoom Away Travel. At two cents, he told me about Zoom Away Travel. He started buying it at a penny. Kept me on the phone for an hour. And then Zoom Away Travel exploded to like 13, 14 cents. And our entire community made money. But that took months. It wasn't overnight. It took time for Zoom Away Travel to put out good news, to grow their revenues, to eliminate debt, to acquire partnerships. It took time. If you don't give that company time, how are you going to win? By day trading and flipping a stock, you're not actually giving yourself any time to allow that company to mature and grow. If you actually hold a stock and allow it to mature and grow quarter over quarter, good companies quarter over quarter, when they continue to grow their revenue and grow their acquisitions, they're going to grow. That's the way it goes. Thank you guys for the 46 likes. Our goal is 100. Let's see if we can hit that goal and if you can be a part of it. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get into some of your messages. Uh, John Hughes says, I sold my Xena shares to get more ACB, but I will buy Xena next week. Hey, you know what? I own Xena and ACB, so you're on the right track, brother. Um, Reefer Al Joint says, hey, Rich, I think the dog is barking. Holy shit, there's a lot of messages. I'm trying to catch up here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch up with all these messages. Uh, damn. Hey, Rich, I think the dog is barking. Help, a bear wants to eat me. Good work this week. <laughs> oh, my God. It's very likely. If you guys see a bear, please let me know. <laughs> By the time I get to through all these messages, it'll be too late. Uh, John Hughes says, Xena production cost for weed is low, man. Yeah. That's why I, I'm telling you, I like all the indicators. Shane says, hi, Rich. How's it going, bro? Where's the long-awaited resurrection? Trade after trade. Loss after loss after loss. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been a tough go. But long-term investors, they want to buy at the bottom. So look at yourself as a long-term investor right now and consider yourself a long-term investor in one of the hottest sectors in the world. Max Power says, good afternoon. How you doing, Max? Jean Leger says, hey, Rich, can I add you on Messenger? Would have something I want to talk. Yeah, add me. I'm everywhere. Just add me. Stephen George says, and Zenibus is a good name. Sounds like a big player's name. <laughs> um, Reefer Aljoin says, you've talked about Warrior Princess on your radar over a year now. Yeah, man. And I'm going to continue to. I'm going to continue to. 
Max Power says, looking to acquire 10,000 Xena to my 5,000 already, 1,000 Cura, 1,000 Afria, 1,000 ACB, 20,000 VSBY. Wow. I like your picks, Max. Those are good companies. Just got to wait another 30 days and I'm holding long on all of the above. Max, now you're thinking, buddy. You're thinking like a long-term investor, bro. And the cool thing about the cannabis sector is if you look at the charts, historically, they always make a run every year, once or twice. So holding long in the cannabis sector is usually not that long. It depends on the deal, but it's usually not that long. <clears throat> Drew D says, nice lineup, Max Power. I'm right there with you on some of them. Max says, thanks. Drew D says, Cura Afria ACB will be in my portfolio in five years, way higher than they are now. I agree with you 1,000%, way higher. Max Power says, been researching KNR, and there's another company like Beyond Meat, but for pets. Yeah, like I don't know who the company is. I'm just guessing. Obviously, I would dream of it being Beyond Meats. Hopefully, that would make the stock crazy, but who? nobody knows, right? Drew D says, River and Xena will pay off big time. I own them both, so I hope so, man. I really hope so for myself and for everybody watching. Max Power says, oh, yeah, I'm holding long, especially on ACB, Pasha, and Cura. Very good. I like all three. Drew D says, control is a beast. Absolutely. Max Power says, LOL, Afria. Okay. I was wondering. Drew D says, smart man. This B wants to be around my T. Um, Max Power says, KNR, good company, just got to get in at the right time. See, now you're talking, Max. Find the bottoms, bro. Hunt the bottoms, man. Be patient. Be patient. Max Power says, like number 21, hit the like. Thanks, Drew. Thank you, Max. I appreciate you guys. And I appreciate all of you guys for your 55 likes. Our goal is 100 likes. We're only 45 away. Let's see if we can hit that goal. Uh, Michael Pack says, Xenobis, baby. Um, Max Power says, Kira going to be another Tilray soon as USA gets their ass in gear and legalizes. I agree, man. Kira is a beast, Max. Berg's Corner says, sup all hey, man. What's up, man? Max Power says, I'm throwing 50K in for long term. Now you're talking, Max. That's the way to think, buddy. Stop worrying about these stocks day to day, man. Invest in the best and think long term. Because long term, good companies will grow. And that's why good investors make money is because investors like Warren Buffett believe that good companies over time will grow. And he looks at stocks 20 years down the road. So if you say to me, oh, I don't want to be like Warren Buffett. Why? <laughs> He's the best. You don't want to be the best? That's like saying, I'm a basketball player saying, I don't want to be like Mike. What? Like, you know, being a football player, being a quarterback, being, I don't want to be like Tom. I said, pardon? Being a runner and saying, I don't want to be like Bolt. Being a hockey player and being like, I don't want to be the great one. I don't want to be like the great one. I don't want to be like the magnificent one. So if it worked for Warren Buffett, can it work for us? Especially in a sector like this, which has been projected to grow year over year over year into the trillions eventually. When you add up hemp, CBD and cannabis, where are these companies going to go? So we have to have a plan where if they go down, we just buy more and do the research in advance. So we get in early and if it goes down, we buy more. And then when they explode, we can take some off the table or take it all off the table. And then when they go down, we can buy them again because this sector is highly volatile and there's always going to be investors and there's always going to be shorters because there's a lot of volatility and they love volatility. And there's always going to be cannabis enthusiasts that are going to be buying these stocks. I don't want you guys to lose. So don't panic sell. Invest in the best and don't panic sell. Max Power says, only thing I don't like about ACB, it's too diluted. But the thing you have to remember about ACB, they're a future Apple. And look at the amount of shares that Apple has. Over 4 billion. Think about it. These guys are in 25 countries. They are future Apple. And then look at the price of Apple. Lorenzo Camus says, Rich, what's up, bro? Hey, man, you know what? Uh, Zenobis had some news, so I thought I'd bring it to the people. Hope you guys are all having a happy Friday, Friday the 13th. Um, you guys are joining me on a Friday the 13th, man. We blessed. 
and we the best. It's true. Uh, veteran and humble analysis says Canopy Rivers, Xenobis, Labs, Terrascend, Acreage, Canopy Growth, Cron. Buy. I like your lineup. I like your lineup, brother. You're smart, man. Chris Deering says, when is Langley supposed to be ready again? Also, hey, what's up, Rich? Zena is a beast. I own 10K shares. I think Zena is Langley is just getting ready every day. I mean, they just retrofitting it, getting it more and more ready every day. You can see Xenobis keeps putting out this news. We continue to watch it and we'll continue to watch it. Max Power says, Xena will be a 15 to $20 player in two years. I can wait. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, bro. Max, I want you to live for a long time, man. I want you to live for a long time, bro, so we can all party and rich, get rich and have fun, make money together, man. I want you guys all to live to a long time and think long-term. Take care of your health. Take a lot of CBDs. Uh, CR says, everyone, there's going to be a crypto boom. Don't forget where you heard it from. First, invest into altcoins. Can make up to 1 million off 500 bucks. Okay, that's a little much. Um, Dan, the IT guy says, ACB moving back on up. And we know it will. I don't. That's one that I don't even have to worry about. ACB. <laughs> they just broke the record for the most revenues in cannabis ever for a quarter. Past canopy growth. Canopy growth is trading way higher than them. But meanwhile, ACB is making more than them. Just wait till next next quarter. What ACB is going to report when they can actually report the T God revenue, the 86 million on their financials. CR says it's too late to get into the wheat sector. Uh, no, it's not. This is just the beginning. You've been smoking too much of that. Good, good. <laughs> Veteran and humble analysis, Canopy Rivers, if they had their TerraSend shares as common shares, they would be making 10 million more a quarter in revenue and the stock would be around nine like it was before the restructuring. Oh man, if Canopy Rivers goes to nine, I'll be happy, man. My 2,000 shares will be 18 grand. Whew, I'll be happy. 59 likes, 82 people watching. Can we get to 100 likes? We are 41 likes away from 100. We've done it before. Let's do it again. Let's show people the power of the Rich TV Live community. You are blessed and you are the best and you deserve it. So let's get it. Oh, look at that. 61 likes, we're only 39 away. 39, 62 likes, 38 away. Dan, the IT guy says, laughing my ass off, CR. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7. Um, veteran and humble analysis says the 10 million in revenue would be from their 40% stake in Terrasend that they paid 110 Canadian per share for. That's a good investment for them. CR says, what stock right now in the wheat sector can get you rich? I'll wait, Dan the IT guy. I'm pretty sure Dan the IT I can give you a lot. I'll give you some. Uh Canopy Growth, Tilray, Afria, Xenobis, Saniva, Cura Leaf, True Leaf, Sea Web, Cush Bottles, Harvest Health and Recreation, Tilray. Rivers, AUSA, I just gave you 13. CR, I just gave you 13. <laughs> you came to the wrong guy to trump on weed stocks. I'll tell you that much. Eduardo says, CR, you already high enough. You don't need weed anymore. <laughs> Dan, the IT guy says, AUSA. Yo, we're thinking the same way, man. Um, CR says, LOL. Okay. How long do you think AUSA will explode? 10 years or longer? Bro, are you for real? Have you seen the amount of volatility over the last two and a half years? How could you even say that? We've seen these stocks. We've seen canopy growth from $5 to $70. And you're saying it's going to take AUSA 10 years to go up. Really? Come on, man. Did you smoke a little crack in that pipe tonight? Was there crack? Like it's supposed to be cannabis, but was there crack? There must have been some crack. <laughs> Dan says E O Y end of year. David Allen Fitzpatrick says said thanks for Zena Rich. Hey, my pleasure, David. Veteran and humble analysis says expect at least ten x from every 
peak in five years. I agree. And I believe he means every pick. CR says, I'm talking about a year or less. Hey, man, you know what? You're talking about short term. And short term, nobody knows where anything's going to go. But I can promise you this. Within a year or less, all of these stocks will explode. I promise you. I'm not suggesting they won't come back down. But I promise you they will explode. Just watch. Watch for a year or less. And I promise you I'll be back here throwing popcorn and celebrating. I guarantee you. Just, just watch and get your popcorn ready. Uh, Dan, the IT guy says, what's going to happen when the USA deschedules? It's going to be an explosion. CR is saying crypto is making millionaires every day. Yeah, we love crypto too here. We love crypto and we love cannabis. Two of the fastest growing sectors in the world. Veteran and humble. And by the way, no, crypto is not that easy. And it's not just making millionaires every day. That's just complete nonsense. Some of that, you got a little bit too much crack in your pipe today, CR. You do. You got you to gotta reduce the amount of crack intake. Veteran and humble analyst says double or triple depending the stock in a year. Dan, the IT guy says crypto is awesome too. I'm in both. Yeah, like you're at the wrong community to sit here and say weed's crap, crypto's good because our community buys both. So it's like saying weed's crap, but real estate's good. Yeah, we buy real estate too. We buy real estate and cannabis and crypto. If you didn't get the memo. Thank you guys for the 69 likes. Let's hit, I like the I like the number 69, but let's hit 100. Let's go. Let's hit 100. Let's hit, oh, we hit 70. Let's go. Let's hit 100. 87 people, 70 likes. I love, love. Oh, 69? Are you guys shorting my likes now? You're not just shorting my picks. Now you're shorting my likes. Man, those shorts, man. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. You can't get enough of this guy. I know it. Shane MJ says, very good advice, bro. No doubt. We just got to think long-term, Shane, man. This is a newly regulated, newly deregulated, newly legal industry. It hasn't even been a year that cannabis has been legal in Canada. Not even a year. Look at the growth of all of these companies. And they will continue to grow. I promise you, they will continue to grow. 91 people here, 71 likes, 29 likes away from 100. Will we hit 100? Let's hit 100. Um... Eduardo, uh, Matt Hancock says, CR, what are your crypto picks and how much do you have invested in them? Great question, Matt. Dan, the IT guy says, MJ is still a baby, bro. And we know this. Eduardo says, yeah, MJ is expanding around the globe and it's just getting started. CR says, are you guys serious? The money is in crypto right now. Who makes a new way of banking? That doesn't happen ever and never will again. We can all be a part of this. We are part of it. We are a big part of it. I promise you that. Um, <laughs> these messages are... There's a lot of messages. Wow. I lost my message here. Jumped. The screen jumped on me. Okay, here we go. Dan, the AT guy says, just saying when USA goes legal, wow. Yeah, and the USA is 10 times bigger than Canada. So we know what's going to happen when the USA goes legal. It's going to be huge. Drew, C Drew D says, there is money in crypto, but you can't tell me there's not potential in the cannabis sector. This thing is still young. And it's like crypto. It's like when Bitcoin was at, like, that's where cannabis is. Dan, the IT guy says, I do love crypto though. Uh, CR says, yes, sir. I may have misworded it. Can you get rich in a year or less off the weed sector? Yes. Um, there's a guy named, um, Justin who's in our community in the last year trading with two grand. He turned two grand into a hundred G's. That's a fact. He's made 50 times his money in one year. He turned two grand into a hundred G's. He also owns Aurora, which he bought three years ago with 25 grand, and now it's worth over 250 to 300 grand. So there's many, many examples of people within our community that have made a killing in the cannabis sector over the last few years, and I have done very well too. And we're going to continue to get bigger and better at this game. I promise you that. 
Dan, the IT guy says, it's all up to what happens short term. Look up the Moore Act. The Moore Act. David Allen Fitzpatrick says, thank you. Chris Deering says, ACB is pulling back up. Nice. Dan, the IT guy says, ACB. CR says, Dan, I have a question for you. When the USA does legalize it, do you think the price of the stock will already be priced in like all the insiders? Um, you know, there's a lot of stocks that are priced in. The market is actually quite smart and sophisticated. But the thing you have to remember is regardless of whether or not everything is priced in, there's going to be massive volatility and there's going to be runs up and there's going to be runs down because it's a newly regulated growing sector. P uh, Dan, the IT guy says, people and fund managers will come out of the woodwork and all boats will float, man. Yeah, because nobody's really invested heavily in cannabis yet. So once it gets legalized in the US, it's going to be the biggest thing ever because it's already the biggest thing ever in Canada. It's taken over the entire stock market in Canada. So just imagine what it's going to do in the US. CR says, all I'm saying, I've been holding my marijuana stocks for at least three to four years. Haven't seen any major gains only in October when weed was about to legalize in Canada. Well, that doesn't make any sense, CR. You Now you're lying. You're lying. If you've been holding your cannabis stocks for three to four years, how can you say you have not seen major gains unless you bought the wrong ones? Because if you take a look at Kronos Group, Afria, Aurora, Organogram, and Aurora Cannabis, Canopy Growth, Afria, Aurora Cannabis, Organogram, Village Farms, they've all been up over the last three, four years. They're all up like anywhere from three to 400% minimum to thousands of percent. Kronos Group has been up over a thousand percent. Canopy Growth has been up over a thousand percent over the last two years since I brought them to our community. And all the videos are on YouTube to prove it. Go back to my first videos, type in Rich TV Live, January 2019. And you'll see all the evidence is there. So you're lying now. So just, you know, if you if you really haven't been investing for three to four years in cannabis, you shouldn't be saying you have because you're just lying or you just have really shit picks. Remy Red says, good afternoon, Rich. You're going to love options. IIPR will rip. It's high, but watch out for it. Yeah, you know, I like it, but I don't like the fact that there's companies like Halo Labs, which is trading at like 30 cents and they're making more revenue than IIPR, which was trading just recently over 100. I, I can't buy that stock. It doesn't, I can't understand. My brain doesn't work like that. It doesn't make sense. So I just can't do it. I know it has a tight float, but those tight float plays can be very, very scary. The Great Goat says, good day all. Love the hat, Rich. Hey, I appreciate it. This is Organogram. One of the picks I brought you guys first in 2017 when it was at a buck. It's true. CR says, I've been holding ACB at four bucks. Well, if you've been holding ACB at four bucks and it was at 15, well, that's pretty huge explosion. Why didn't you sell? So you just hold it and then it goes up and then you don't sell and then it goes down and then you complain? Come on, man. Come on, man. Aurora has been over $13 multiple times. If you sold, you would have made 300%. How can you say that that's not explosive growth? Like uh, what? on what planet are you on that 300% is not explosive growth? You really got to look at your trading style, bro. Skinny Bear says, I bought your number one pick, TCNNF, a few weeks ago, and I'm up 17%. Big winner. Big winner. You know what? For that, we're going to put on some tunes. For that, I love hearing that guys are winning. That gets me excited, man. When you guys buy the picks and you win, that just makes my day. But don't buy my picks because I don't know chart analysis. I don't got charts behind me. I got forest and five acres of raw land that we can grow. So if you guys want to be on our property, if you want a piece of this five acres, holler at your boy. We'll get a license. We'll do some work. Just saying. It's in the works. It's in the works. I don't do chart analysis though. I don't do chart analysis. If you're looking for chart analysis, you got to go somewhere else. I don't do chart analysis. I look at financials. I look at acquisitions. I look at share structure. I look at the management team. I don't just look at a chart and go, oh, wow, this stock's going to go up because look at the chart. No, no, no. I want to read the financials. I'm like Warren Buffett. I want to read what does the company do? What industry are they in? Are they in a growing industry? Is there going to be a need for the product in 10 or 20 years? Everyone's going to keep smoking weed. Are people going to keep using CBDs? Hell yeah. 
People are going to keep um, needing hemp products. Yep. So chances are cannabis is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and keep getting better and better and better. And we'll just continue to make money along the way. And all the haters, they'll just come here and they'll be like, weed stocks suck, man. Those weed stocks, they suck. The weed sector sucks. That weed stock, this weed sector really sucks. Well, I got a song for those cannabis people. stocks and CEO interviews. It's called the Cannabis Rocky Stock Resurrection. Rich and believe it or not, we are in the middle of the resurrection. You just don't know it yet. It started when these companies started turning a profit. Smash that like. We're at 74 likes, man. 26 away from 100. Who else has made stock music? Honestly, is there anybody else that's made stock music? It is. It's very true. Like The question is, will you take advantage of this? Or are you going to let this opportunity pass you in your lifetime? Because I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me in my lifetime. I promise you that. I'm just an average guy. I started turning on the camera two and a half years ago. And I've been talking about cannabis stocks. I'm just an average guy. I'm nothing special. You know, I make mistakes too. You know, I want to win just like you guys want to win. I want financial freedom just like you guys want financial freedom. 
You know, I'm just an average guy that wants above average things, you know, and the only way we're going to get it is by taking a couple swings. You know, Dan, the IT guy says, I'm sorry to hear that, man, but I have made money since 2014 in this sector. And so have I. A lot of people have made money in the cannabis sector. So it's ridiculous for someone to come and try to say that the cannabis sector hasn't made people money. It's ridiculous to say that the cannabis sector has not exploded because it has. And it's ridiculous to say that the cannabis sector won't explode again because that's all it's ever done is go up and then go down and then go up and then go down and then go up and then go down and then go up and then go down. If you don't sell when it's up, you have nobody to blame but yourself. I'm sorry. I've also been heavily involved in the cannabis sector and crypto space. And I'll be honest with you, the cannabis space, in my opinion, is way better. Way better. Other than Bitcoin, the crypto space has been pretty shit. Other than Bitcoin. The crypto space has been actually pretty shit. Altcoins are just a joke. They're like penny stocks. So, you know, to sit here and keep pumping altcoins is a little bit laughable, bro. Like, it's laughable. Like, laughable. Shows me that you really, you really don't know shit. Like, you don't really know anything. You should kind of, like, check yourself at the door, man. Because, like, if you're going to talk about something, don't you think you should actually know what you're talking about? Like, really? Like, look how many altcoins there are. Do you know how many of them have failed? So to make a statement like altcoins are going to go up and go from, you're going to make turn 500 bucks to a million. Like you sound like a crackhead, bro. Like I'm just giving you some advice. You sound like a crackhead. Just saying. You might be, you might not be. I don't really know. But you sound like one. Robert says, had to take a small profit on water, alkaline water. Take the profit, man. Oh, wait a second. CR has another message. He says, I made money as well but not close to my crypto account. So now you changed your story. Now you made money in cannabis. You just said you did not make money in cannabis and you've been holding for three, four years. Now you're saying you've made money on cannabis as well as crypto, just not as much as your crypto. Damn, your story changed quick, bro. Shit. You went from not making money to cannabis in cannabis to making money in cannabis now. I'm so confused. Do, 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 do. Am, are we in the twilight zone? Do, 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 do. Is this the twilight zone? I'm just asking. I'm just wondering if we're in the twilight zone. You said you never made money in cannabis. And then two minutes later, you said you made money in cannabis. Which one is it? I'm so confused. And if you made money in cannabis, why would you hate it so much and say it's never going to go anywhere when you've made money in it? It's craziness. It's like, you know, it's like saying, I love YouTube, and they give me a great check. And then two seconds later, saying, man, I hate YouTube, man. This guy suck, man. But you just said that you love YouTube. Well, I do. But I don't love this part. Well, which one is it? Do you love him or hate him? <sighs> Some people are just very confused. <laughs> then the IT guy says, you have to buy in the red and sell in the green and keep your ear to the ground. Good advice. Max Power says, I've learned a lot in the last 18 months and a lot of it, um, a lot of you, bro. And I thank you for that. Hey, my pleasure, Max, man. Let's just win together, man. I want you guys to win. Trust me. Max Power says, oh yeah, by 2023 to 2025, I figure to make a lot of holding long. Yeah, because you got to give companies like Xenobis time to develop. You got to give companies like Cureleaf time to develop. You have to give companies like Trueleaf time to develop. You got to give companies like Seneva time to develop. They need time. And as time goes on, they will get bigger and better. CR says, Dan, all I'm saying, there's going to be a crypto boom in the next 300 days. Remember who said it first. Yes, CR, you called it first. You're the only one who's called a crypto boom. Every time you turn on YouTube, every single crypto enthusiast is, enthusiast is calling a crypto boom, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. You called it first? Really? really go on youtube show your face and then call it and then you can actually come here and say you called something do that because i show my face and i call crashes like i crashed i called the crash this summer and i call resurrections like i'm calling the next resurrection that's coming right now it's happening you just don't know it yet and you know what was the difference and the change was when they started to show profit as soon as these companies started to turn profit i knew that this was going to be the next big sector that was going to blow. It's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It's a matter of when. 
Max Power says FSD or Q Trade screwed me over four grand. I can laugh now, but still pissed. I woke up and I even took a pick. My FSD said I was up 230%, up $17,625. Oh, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Matthew says, happy Friday, Rich from Malibu Beach. Long-term sector is enormous. I agree. There's no need to be a panic investor here. We long-term investors, you want a day trade? Great. You see profits? Great. But if you're down, just hold. Invest in the best and you won't have to worry. If they go down, buy more or just wait. The great GT says, love Xena and waiting till, till it make me rich. Hey, man, smart thinking. Dan, the IT guy says, I will CR. I like the way you're thinking. I hope you're right because I will laugh all the way to cash out. Sierra says, Dan, what's your email? I bet 100% there's going to be a, uh, a lot of millionaires, billionaires in the next 10 months of crypto. Maybe I can help you. <laughs> oh, my God. Max, <laughs> oh, that's comical. Max Power says, soon as it hit 9.30 a.m., that decimal point was moved. $1 to 10 cents. I mean, how can it say 239% up 17K? At open, it said 10. They sold all my 25,000 FSD shares. Yeah, I don't know. That's market makers playing games, man. Max Power says, lost 4K, live and learn. We'll make it back, bro. We'll make it back. CR says, Rich TV, if you're not a billionaire in the next two years, something's wrong. I agree with you. Harman Brothers says, hey, Rich, should I hold my namaste? I would. And I would definitely consider lowering my cost. And um, watching the company grow because I believe that they will grow. I like some of their brands. I like Canmart and I like um, Pineapple Express. So I think they have potential, but they need to grow their revenue. Uh, hey, Mary, how you doing? Benno says Halo is cheap. Yeah, Halo is making millions. Halo is making more than IIPR and trading at less than 30 cents. I mean... What else do you need to say? Uh, Mary says, I sold a lot and tanked my main at nine and a half cents. Okay. Uh, Benno says, cannabis popcorn. Uh, CR says, I hope you don't throw popcorn. I hope you can make it rain. Let's see if the stock gods can make it rain. Uh, wow, so many messages. I'm trying to catch up with you guys' messages. Uh, Scott Norris says, just joining. I hit the like. Thank you, Scott. Jerry says, Ianthus below $3 again. Load up. Yeah, man. Dan, the IT guy says, sup, peeps. Hit that like. Jean Ligar says, hey, Rich, can you add me on Messenger? Something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, add me, man. Message me. Rich TV live at gmail.com. Holly Moore says, Hi, Rich, driving and listening and smash that like. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate you. Dan, the IT guy says, Woohoo, Holly. Uh, Scott says, Xena needs to get its fingers in the US, expanding in Ontario. Retail goes only so far. US is huge. They are expanding in the US through Tilray. Gail Bella says, IIPR. CR says, I had Canopy at 16 bucks. ACB at $4. I get my picks from you, Rich. So then what's the problem? Um, Ludo Liu says, hi, guys. Cheers from Niagara. I actually smoking a big joint of the local African stuff. Nice. Enjoy. CR says, Rich, aren't we in for the long haul? We are. So what's the problem? Uh, Scott Norris says, I bought Aurora at $3 and sold at $12.50. I'm going to buy back in. Smart, Scott. Genius. Shane MJ says, events and news can easily ruin technical chart setups. Exactly. That's why I really don't care that much about charts. To me, it's 90% research, 10% charts. Honestly. The chart is just for short term. Um, I look at the When I look at a chart, I look at a 52-week low. I look at a 52-week high, and I look at the all-time low and the all-time high. I look at where the stock is trading on that chart. That's all that matters to me. Where it is short-term, I couldn't care less. The chart isn't going to tell me what news is coming out tomorrow 
what the financials look like, if the company's going to have a scam like can't trust. The trying can't tell you that. So you got to do the research. Early Hunter says, happy Friday, Rich. Happy Friday the 13th, Early Hunter. CR says, Rich named 13 stocks and still not rich. Well, it depends on your definition of rich, bro. You know, if you have uh, healthy children and you've got properties in multiple countries and you don't work and you got tons of free time and you do YouTube videos every day, um, I don't know. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty good. I got money in the stock market. I got money in real estate. I got money in crypto. I ain't struggling to pay my bills. So I don't know. I got a villa in the Dominican. I got a villa in Portugal. But I guess you want to call me names and say I'm not rich. Hey, man, you're more rich than me. You're a big man. You're more rich than me. Because remember, when you die, people are going to care about how much money you have. They're really going to care about how much money you have, how rich you are. That's what they're going to remember is how rich you are. Think about that. Just think about it. So CR says, that's unheard of. I guess you're buying all the wrong stocks too. <laughs> so now you want to pick a fight. It's funny. I guess you're the definition of a troll. Scott says, haha, do we have a troll in our community, Rich? I think we have a troll. I think I have a song for you, CR. I have a song for you, pretty sure. Because I know you're smoking hard on that crack pipe. So I'm going to give you something to smoke on. All right? Because we're the only channel, because we're here for education and entertainment purposes, and we're the only channel that will actually bring you stock market music. And I actually have songs for every single occasion, including this. Check this out. And I'm not going to get rid of you. I'll let you stay here and, and join the party. Because trolls deserve a place to have fun too. It's true. Trolls deserve a hangout too. Okay, I'm going to share with you guys while we're live here. I'm going to share with you guys some of the winners right now. This is called Troll Hunting. Ill Kid Playlist on Rich TV Live.
get chopped. That's um, that's what we do with the trolls. Is just chop them like chop suey. Um, uh, SNICP says, Rich, I've been holding ACB, CGC, and MedMen for a while. When I get anxious, you give me the juice to hold fast. Love your show, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And yeah, man, you're holding the right, you're holding the right stocks. Be patient. You will see gains. If they go down, you can always buy more, lower your cost, and then wait for the next explosion. Shane says, Rich, you're doing great. Keep up the good job, bro. I appreciate you, Shane. Thank you, man. Scott says, I'm patient. Xena is a two-year hold unless it goes up 200% by Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> if it goes up 200% by Christmas, you guys are going to see my face a lot. <laughs> Chris says, what's your thoughts on Flower Corp? I'm down like 35% with them. Not sure if I should lower my position or just hold what I got. I would lower my position. I really like that company. And if you can get in lower, there's nothing wrong with positioning yourself in a great company at a lower price, lower your cost. And then when it explodes, you'll be able to take your profits. Adrian says, hey, Rich, thinking about OTC, what is the best trading platform? I use TD Bank. Um, in America, you can use TD Ameritrade. You can use um, Fidelity. You can use E-Trade. You can also use uh, Investors Hub for level two. And you can use Quote Stream for level two. I use TD for level two. <clears throat> Benno says, thanks, Rich, and the community for all the information. You guys and gals are also a lot of fun. Yeah, we all about having fun and making money here. And thank you guys for the 80 likes. We got more likes than people watching. You know that I love that. And we're going into the close, and Aurora's green, and Afria's green, and Canopy's green, and Tilray's green. And you know I love that too. Thank you guys for the 81 likes. We're 19 away from 100. And we're just going to stay live until close. We'll just stay live until market close. Why the hell not? Hab Slayer says, what do you think about the growth of cannabis in Europe? I think it's going to be huge. That's why I love Still Canna. And take a look at Still Canna today. Another one of my picks that's exploding. It's exploding. Finding the bottom. Finding the bottom. Rob says, I am loading on Xena a lot. Oh, you are a genius, my friend. Ludo says, nice. Sheldon Snow says, thoughts on Liberty Health, second in Florida, in flower sales, third in derivatives, only at 50 cents. What are your thoughts? Too many shares? They've had some issues with regulators. They've had some issues with credibility. That's my concern with them. So I try to stay away from companies that have um, 40 laws of power taught me stay away from the unhappy and unlucky. Stay away from trolls. Stay away from haters. Stay away from negative people. They, they try to leech on to positive people like leeches. And because I'm a positive person, they're naturally going to try to, you know, latch on and try to, you know, take away our thunder. That's why we can't let them. But I enjoy playing with them because it's entertaining. It's just pure entertainment. CR says, Rich, let me call you on FaceTime. I'll show you my face. No problem. No, it's okay. We can always pull up. We cannot, you can always pull up, bro. You can always pull up. I'm a real dude, eh? If you want to meet, we can meet anytime. James says, be smoking big crack rocks. <laughs> CR says, I'll show you my lifestyle you couldn't believe. Yeah, man, I'm going to bend down to you, bro. Your lifestyle is going to make me jealous. I want your lifestyle, bro. I want to be in your shoes. Can I be you, CR? Can I be you, CR? Uh, Jones Management 100 says, Rich, Ianthus or Canopy Rivers, your bet. Ooh, uh, well, I own Canopy Rivers. I think long-term, whew, that's a tough one. Um, shit, that's tough. I'd have to say right now Ianthus, but I think long-term Canopy Rivers might be there, but I just have to say right now, I think Ianthus is bigger and better right now, but that could change. But uh, yeah, it's close. That's a really close one. I, I might have to say Ianthus a little bit today, but in the future, who knows? Because I, Canopy Rivers is backed by Canopy Growth, and they're the biggest. So, well, they were until Aurora passed them. Um, Sheldon Snow says, thoughts on LS, LHS, rich community. I think it's okay. Uh, CR says, right now, I'm, I'm cash. I'll show you over 200K. I'm from Toronto. What's your number? Oh, man. So what, 200K is a lot of money to you? <laughs> okay, bro. Um, you want to show me 200K in cash? <laughs> so I didn't know this was a pissing contest. 
Um, Sheldon Snow says, why you here, CR? CR? CR loves the show. Loves the show. Huge fan. James Finkley says, where's the crackhead at? <laughs> CR says, I can show you paperwork on the stuff I own. Sheldon Snow says, CR, should I show you my penis too? <laughs> goodness that was a good one sheldon snow says cr should i show you my penis too so we could see who who's bigger <laughs> lol <laughs> oh my goodness rob says xena at 107 now let's go xena felipe rosas says hey brother hab slayer says i like your new thumbnail you love the throwing of the money throwing the money Tracy Child says, hey, Rich, thanks for bringing this community together. I love what you're bringing. Bring it on. Hey, man, we're just having fun and making money. Even the trolls have a place here. Even the trolls have a place here. Jin Luo says, your backyard is beautiful. When Xena explodes, I'm going to retire and move back to Vancouver. Yeah, I got five acres, and uh, I want to grow cannabis. So if any of you licensed LPs want to work with Rich TV Live, I got five acres. Let's go. Let's go. We need a license, though. I need someone with a license, so let's do this. Harman Brother says, uh, Hey, Rich, I'm thinking to buy Oxley. Any thoughts? I like Oxley. I think they have a lot of potential. I've always liked them. I've always thought they were going to be explosive. They've been a huge disappointment. Um, they now have a billion-dollar partner, which is exciting, but they still have a massive share structure, which worries me. Uh, companies that have too many shares issued with standing are very concerning for me. So that's my issue. Sheldon Snow says, Rich, you are an optimist. Love it. You demand. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, Sheldon. I appreciate you, man. I really appreciate you. Sheldon, I'm going to add you as a moderator. I appreciate your support and your positivity. So you're a moderator now. Uh Jones Management 100 says, LOL, thanks, bro. Don't panic. Jones Management 100 says, I'll pull on the haters with you. There we go, bro. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about, man. Um, Adam R says, Rich, please don't waste your intellect on trolls, brother. Oh, you guys know I'm just having fun, man. We got to have fun here. Can't be so serious. Uh, Felipe Rosa says, what's your favorite, your strain? Um, it's a good question. Um, I kind of like them all. <laughs> I like to mix and match, to be honest with you. I like to mix and match, but everybody likes like, like I like like, you know, like cotton candy and rock star and, uh, bubble kush. I mean, everybody likes those strains, and um, I like it all, man. Sativas, indicas, I don't really care, to be honest with you. I like it all, man. I love CBDs, hemp products. So I love this sector, man, because this sector is all around me. I'm in Vancouver. Like, I got five acres. What do you think we're going to do here? This is being developed. Two things are going to happen. We're either putting 100, 100 units here. Or we're going to build 24 houses or we're going to grow cannabis or CBDs or we're going to do extraction because we got five acres. So we've got options. We'll see what happens. Stock Tube Home says CR is a creepy little bugger. Yeah, I'm not afraid of CR. CR, listen, man, I got nothing against you. I'm sure you have tons of money. I'm sure you're very successful. You might have 10 times more money than me and I wish you all the best. But remember, I'm from Toronto too, CR. So whenever you want to meet up, brother, we can meet up and we can have a coffee because I'm from Toronto. I'm from Toronto. So whenever you want to meet up, we can meet up, brother. Uh, Felipe says, joint or bong? Man, like I said, man, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Rob says, hey, Rich, what about Hexo? I own Hexo and I love Hexo. Lord Gayhind says, did you watch UFC 242 Khabib and Poirier match? I sure did. Uh, Shan Khan says, where do you see Xena Rivers AUSA in two years time? 2X, 3X? I think that's very possible. Yes. 
CR says, LOL, it's so funny. You can't have an opinion here. Everyone's so sensitive, negative, LOL. Just go back to the first statement opinion that I had and Rich took it out on me. Sorry, Rich. I'm sorry for having. Bro, I'm not the only one, eh? Everybody knows that you're trolling the channel. So you can continue to say you have an opinion, but your opinion makes no sense. First, you said that weed wasn't making you money. Then you turned around and said weed was making you money. Then you said that can't, that cryptocurrencies were going to go up and you would turn $500 into a million dollars. Let's be honest, bro. That's fucked up bullshit. You ain't going to turn no 500 bucks into a million dollars on crypto. You might just turn your 500 bucks into zero. And whenever you want to give us your picks, CR, in advance, please share your picks. Don't just say that altcoins are going to make you rich. Give us your altcoin picks. And then in two years, we'll look at your picks and we'll look at my picks and we'll see whose picks are better. That's the best way to judge it. I'm not in no pissing contest with nobody. You can have billions of dollars. That doesn't make you a better person. I couldn't give a fuck. If you had 10 billion or 10 cents, everybody has a place here in Rich TV Live. Nobody's better than anybody else here in this community because they have money. There's a lot of people in this community that can show you a hell of a lot more than 200K, including myself. So at the end of the day, I mean, like, you're not impressing me, bro. You know, impress me with your picks, not with the money you have. Impress me with your picks. Don't say you've got picks that have gone up. Show me your picks. I show you my picks. All my picks are live on richtvlive.com. Where are your picks? Show me your picks. That's what impresses me. Scott Norris says, hey, Rich. Changing the subject briefly, are you a sports fanatic? No mention of Bianca Andrescu winning the U.S. Open. Yes, uh, I am a sports fanatic. Uh, Bianca Andrescu was a big story. I didn't mention it. You're right. I should have. I just been so busy. Just so busy. Lorenzo says, love the cannabis industry, Rich. I've seen it explode in L.A. since medicinal back in 2000s. And we're just getting started, brother. It's not even legal federally yet. Faisal Khan says, if you need help, with extractions, I can help you out. I work with an LP. Hey, you're speaking my language. If you can get me a license in Vancouver, I got five acres. Let's go. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. And I can get more land. I got more acres and I got more farms and I got a lot of friends and they all want to get in the game and they all know that I'm deep in the game. <clears throat> che Cheya Cheya says, I accidentally bought true leaf stock okay uh habslayer says what do you think about what's happening with the vaping illness in the states i think it's a a major issue and i think it's affecting the market this week cr says i didn't say anything like that and who are you to say that i can't make 500 to a million i'm telling you you can't make 500 to a million show me show me give me your pick and show me my email address is richtvlive at gmail.com. I know all the old altcoins, bro. I got the coin market cap on richtvlive.com. I got all the altcoins on richtvlive.com. I interviewed Charlie Lee from Litecoin. So you're talking to the guy who knows about crypto and been talking about crypto for two years. So it's not like I'm not involved and invested in crypto. I know all about the crypto game. I've been talking about crypto for a long time. So you're welcome to send me your picks anytime you want. Adrian South says, loving this channel more and more. Love the enthusiasm and positivity and combo with the info. Now we're just having fun and making money here. <clears throat> CR saying, you're acting like you're better than me, though. I'm not better than you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying be realistic. If you have picks that can go up from 500 bucks to a million, show us. And then we will give you all the credit in the world. I'm the first guy to give credit to people who are successful. Like I've given credit to Justin. Recently, I gave credit to Brent for some of his picks. Whoever gives us picks will get credit here. I'm not here to take all the credit for the picks. I couldn't care less. I just want our community to win. I want our community to learn. And I want our community to earn. I want our community to have freedom. I want our community to have fun. We're not here to fight. We're here to have fun. Okay? I'm not here to get into no pissing contest with anybody. I couldn't care less if you had 10 billion or 10 cents. Everybody has a voice here whether you have 10 billion or 10 cents. And I'm not in the business of competing with, oh, I've got this and you got that and you got this and I got that. I don't care. I really don't. It means nothing to me. It really does. It's, it means nothing. You know, 
my partners drive Mercedes and Lambos and Ferraris. And, you know, I drive a Honda. I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. I don't need to show you my house and, you know, flex. And I don't need to show you my car and flex. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't, you know, I want to make a difference, man. I want to make a difference. I want to, I want to, I want to change the world, man. So yeah, it's a little bit of a different goal. You know, some people just want to make money. That's good. But um, my email is richtvlive at gmail.com. And uh, feel free to send me your picks, man. Any of you guys. And if your picks are good, I'll give you the credit. Always. Jones Management 100 says, CR, leave my guy. You're corny and wasting people's time. See, it isn't me, bro. It isn't me, bro. It isn't me, man. I know what the people want. People want picks, bro. So if you've got picks, drop your picks. Lord Gayhind says, is crypto really worth it? I like crypto. The ability to send money to the bankable and the unbankable all over the world almost instantly at almost no cost is revolutionary. And that's why I've been interviewing NetSense, Lightlink Technologies that are in the crypto space. So when people come here, it's comical and they're like talking about crypto. It's like they're talking about crypto like I don't, like I'm not involved in crypto. It's weird. It's like, are you, do you even watch the show? <laughs> I've been talking about crypto for years. Felipe Rosa says, should I take cash out of my Bitcoin and buy cannabis stocks? I like them both, man. I like them both. Real for real says, would you partner for medical license grow? Yes, I would. I would. Absolutely. That's what I'm looking for. And we've got a lot of people we're talking to and a lot of licensed LPs we're talking to. Clearly, we've had them on our show and we're going to continue to. AJ says, Rich, do you play fantasy football? Yes, I do. I lost last week. Kind of devastated about that. Much of the joy I get from picking stocks, I find it associated to the joy I get from fantasy. I agree. I love fantasy football just like stocks. CR says, so one last question, Rich. Do you think there's a crypto event coming up that will shift the market upward, yes or no? Well, I've been invited to a lot of crypto events, and I think that that's a very big possibility. And I've actually been invited to speak at those events, actually. There's one event coming up in Malta that I've been invited to speak at. Um, I just don't know if I'll be able to go. They've actually invited me and are willing to fly me out there and uh, pay for my flight and my hotel and everything. I just don't know if I can go because I'm so busy. I'm a single dad. I take my son to soccer. I'm busy, man. I just don't, and I don't have the time. And we're so busy with clients and we're growing so fast. I don't have the time. Uh, Thunderbird says, the only use case that ever been developed for Bitcoin is criminality. James Rickards. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think it's a little harsh. I like I like Bitcoin. I like crypto. Faisal Khan says, I can set up your lab. I use CO2, super critical extraction. How much is your budget? Um, well, I mean, we're willing to do whatever it takes. We got to look at the numbers and we got to see what it's going to take to make it work and if it makes sense. Scott Norris says, I drive an F-150 and a scooter. If my picks or when my picks come through, a Tesla. Rich, you are the man. We are all equal on this planet. Yeah, because at the end of the day, man, when we go, nobody's going to care how much money we have. No one's going to care about your villas or your cars or your crypto or your cannabis stocks. So all we have is time. And what are we going to do with this time? We're born and then we die. What are we going to do in between? The amount of money you accumulate means fuck all. Let's be honest. It means fuck all. Your kids are not going to love you more because you have tons of money. I've seen this. I've literally tested it. My kids love me just as much if I live in a shitty little house than if I live in a big house. They've seen both. My kids have seen me go through divorce. My seen kids do all kinds of things. And I've seen people that are very successful that have a terrible relationship with their kids. Terrible relationship with their kids. Money means fuck all. I've seen people with tons of money that are horribly ill. Money cannot help them. They are dying. I've seen people that have tons of money that have no friends. Money can't help you in those situations either. I'm just saying, man, money isn't everything. It's a part of life, yes. We want to be able to be very successful so that we can take care of that part of life. But the amount of money isn't something that I use to measure somebody. It's not. It's just not.
And I have lots of friends that are rich that are great guys. I have lots of friends that are rich that are assholes. I have lots of friends that are poor that are great guys. And I have lots of friends that are poor that are assholes. So at the end of the day, everybody's everybody's different, man. CR says, not maybe, yes or no. Um, do I think that the can the cryptocurrency space is just going to explode? Yes. Is it going to happen anytime soon? I don't know, but it will happen. I just don't know when. It all depends on Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin's at 10,000. I think that Bitcoin could test 20,000, but I also think Bitcoin could go down. I think it could go down to like 3,000 again. So I think it's very volatile, very similar to cannabis, and cannabis stocks. Panda Yo says, Panda Yu says, isn't the main issue with vaping in the States is cutting agent is vitamin E acetate? I wonder if there are issues if you just had the distillate and terpenes. Well, that's what a lot of people are talking about. And they're talking about different products and different uses. And they're going to fight about it. But what it's really doing is just creating more awareness for this sector. Felipe Rosa says, is that your brand on your hat? No, this is actually um, a brand of Organogram. Kanitha Grant says, what do you think about Fundrise? Uh, you know what? I'm not very familiar. I think I may have heard of them a bit, but I'm not very familiar with them. Sheldon Snow says, and yet your boy still finds time for all of us. Much appreciated to you, Rich. Thank you, Sheldon. I appreciate you, man. Stockholm says, CR, you need to go check back into the cuckoo nest. You're a typical 2019 nut who expects too much from everybody else. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just reading your guys' comments. Paul Eric Vino Hansen says, is this a live stream for high ranting? I have quite a few rants coming up. Um, yeah, it can be. Uh, Scott Norris says, CBD can help though I'm proof. Oh yeah, it can help big time. Paul Eric Vino Hansen says, why are ghosts so mean? Why are there no nice ghosts? Why do they have to be so creepy? Why can't they just be chill and write with blood on the mirror that there's an afterlife. What? I don't know where this is, where this is going. Sheldon says, "Who dies with the most toys does not win. Can't take it with you." It's true. It's about who has the most fun and who makes a name for themselves during this time they're here on Earth. In my opinion. In my opinion, it's about having fun, making money, enjoying your life, and having as much happiness as possible in the time that you're here and hopefully making a difference and leaving a legacy. In my opinion, that's my idea of what matters to me. But everybody's different. You might have a huge amount of zeros beside your name and you might feel really good about that. That's great. That's a huge accomplishment. I'm not taking that away from you. It's a good accomplishment. But you're not going to get treated differently here because you have money. That's one thing you will know here in our community. You will not be treated here if you have money versus if you don't have money. You know, the only way you get treated differently here is if you give picks that help people win. If you get picks that help people win, then that will give you more credibility within our community and you'll be treated differently. You'll be treated with more respect because you're prepared to actually share your picks that helped other people like Justin has, like Andrew has, like Amanda has, like a lot of our members have and will continue to. Lorenzo Cama says, bro, what the F are you smoking? <laughs> CR says, everyone here is actually fucked because all your people been doing is bashing me, calling me names. I never once disrespected anyone here. The funny thing is you actually can't have an opinion. That's crazy. That's not true. You can have an opinion about anything you want, but you got to be realistic. Everybody here knows you're not going to turn $500 into a million buying altcoins. And if you believe that, share your pick right here. Share it right here. For everyone to see your pick. And I guarantee you can't do that. I guarantee it. I'd be willing to bet you 200K, that 200K you want to show me, I'd be willing to bet you your 200K that you can't turn $500 into a million. I'd be willing to bet you that because I know you can't. I know you can't. And I guarantee you everybody else here would be willing to make you the same bet. And I guarantee we would all win because turning 500 bucks into a million is not easy. Now, one of our members, Justin, turned two, two grand into 100 grand. So it is possible, but it's definitely not easy. And I doubt you can do it. But hey, show me. 
Show me and prove me wrong. I would love to see it. Let's see it. Put your money where your mouth is. Stop asking people for their email addresses and put your picks here. Because I put my picks live on YouTube for two and a half years and my picks have gone up. So I want you to share your picks now. Because you're saying you have an opinion. You're saying you've got the best picks. Share your picks. Michael York says, glad I bought more Xenobis at the lowest low. Are you up now? Sheldon Snow says, no CR. You came in here and whipped out your dick and we don't care how big it is. <laughs> Yona's management 100 says rich light link dropping like crazy 16%. Yeah. I mean, that's what it does. That's why when it was up, that was the time to sell. And when it goes down back under 10 cents, that's the time to buy. And then when it goes to 20 cents, that's the time to sell. And that's typically the way it's been trading. Scott Norris says, CR, if you don't feel love, why are you here? Chris Sifried says, I bought some rehab RX gummies this week, but didn't see the rich hemp brand. Where are they sold? Yeah, the Rich Hemp brand is going to be a white label of the Rehab RX product. We are working with Rehab RX, but they wanted to see some sales first before they put our brand out there. Now that sales are coming in, we're building a better relationship. And in the future, we will have Rich Hemp RX products. Uh, that you will be able to order. And we're really excited about that. And I'll let you guys know when that happens. We got 93 likes. We're seven likes away from 100. Can we hit 100 likes? I appreciate you guys for your 93 likes. Thank you so much. It means so much to the bottom of my heart. But we want to hit 100. 94 likes. We're six away from 100. Could we squeeze out six more likes? Let me give you guys some of the winners. So it's kind of a slow Friday, but we do have some green in the cannabis sector, which is always... Greatly appreciated, especially considering the fact that most of us here are cannabis investors. So based on what I'm looking at right now, let's see. All right, all right, all right. We see some, some decent moves, but nothing huge. Some decent moves. So the percentage gainers in Canada... Right now, 48 North is making a move up 9%. Balance Grow Works is up 5%. Isodial is up 5%. Canopy Growth Corp is up 3% now at $36. Tilray is up 2.7%. At $31, Hexo is up 2%. Wildflower Brands is up 2%. Alifia is up 2%. Aurora is up 1.7%. Kronos Group is up 1.5%. 1, 1 Afria is up 2%. Organogram is up slightly. Green Organic Dutchman is down 2%. Supreme Cannabis is up 1%. The Flat Corporation is up 2%. Kenny Rivers is down 4%. Terrasend is up slightly at $6.08. Cantrust is up slightly at $2.13. Alifia up 2%. Chiron Life Sciences up 1.9%. 1, 1 Weed MD up 1.3%. And we're going into the close. And let's take a look at some of the American stocks going into the close. And I think we need a song. Going into the close, we need a song. It's been an up and down week. Trump has got a war on vapes. Killing the resurrection. But regardless, the resurrection will come. This is how you make money in 2019. Listen to the words. Ill Kid and Rich TV Live. Hi, my name's Petra Hess from PetraPins.com. Last year, I was able to make about $300,000 in profits trading both U.S. and Canadian profit. stocks. And the best... <laughs> this is a cannabis stock revolution. It's true. Rich TV Live will bring you the picks and the hits. Rich kid, you 
the rich play. One move and have you fucking leaning like a kickstand. How to get money, nothing funny, it's a sick play. You can't perform it to show us like sick. You crazy, riding like a phony heart. God, I'm a big man. Trying to get a bitch with the pool. Some big legs. Step into the jungle, you can sink it. Quick sand, draw from the haters. You hear at a distance. Whole team way. I'm talking like a bad dead boy. What's that new pro? You hear me got mad nerves. So be trolling, controlling. Yeah, you can't get it. Show them what it be. I eat them like I'm having breakfast. Uh, more serious on the haters now. I'm saying you hit the ball. Get it kind of way it's down. That's just. Here's a better one. Now we're going to look at the American ones in the United States. Percentage gainers on richtvlive.com. You can find all of this. GSRX keeps climbing up 12%. BAM is up again 7%. True Leave goes higher up 2%. You can join the group. So yeah, you guys can join the Telegram group and I suggest you do because we literally have all the picks in there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, uh, CR says, I'm a troll now because I have an opinion. I've probably been one of the few who has been subscribed to Rich for years now. Hey, well, you know what? If you've been subscribed for years, why are you so negative? First, you said you didn't make money in cannabis. Now you're saying you made money in cannabis. Now you're saying you can turn $500 into a million on altcoins. <laughs> Michael York said, what's your take on water? I think that that's some big news with some huge celebrities. I need to look into a little bit more, but I like them. I think they have a lot of potential. CR says, okay, bet rich. Everyone remember this day. Okay, so now that you made this bet, give us your pick and give us the timeline. Because you said you're going to turn $500 into a million. Give us your pick and give us the timeline. 
Let's go. You want to make this bet? We'll make this bet. Give us your pick and give us a timeline. Felipe Rosa says, what are your picks? I want to get rich too. Exactly. He doesn't want to give us his picks because he doesn't have the picks. It isn't easy to make picks, especially in crypto where most altcoins have all come down dramatically. Trust me, I've been in the game. I know. Believe me. Stock Tube Home says, picked up some Ianthus today. First time with this bad Larry. Sheldon Snow says, come on, CR, smash the like button. <laughs> Scott Norris says, hey, Rich, after October 17th, will Canadians be able to get your oils? No, because CBDs are still illegal in Canada, but you can in America and internationally. Um, Chris Sefried says, I made money on Lightlink twice now and only knew about that company because of your videos. I appreciate you, Chris. I hope you keep winning, bro. And do the same thing, man. If it goes back down under 10 cents, buy it. If it goes back up over 20 cents, sell it. You're making 100% every time. Beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, Paul Eric says, do you think cannabis without any of its megalinant properties would be a hit like decaf beer without alcohol, cream without fat? Um, well, that's what CBDs are, right? CBDs don't have, well, most uh, you can buy CBDs with THC, but there's a lot of CBDs that have no THC. So they're already doing that and they, and they're doing that with edibles. They're doing that with beverages. They're doing that with a lot of things. So yeah, I think it will be a hit for, you know, certain people. Some people want THC. Some people want those side effects. Sheldon says, Paul, they call that CBD. Yeah, exactly. Um, Paul says, I'm thinking of making a strain completely stripped of any and all cannabinoids. Okay. Without CBD. So just with THC, with no CBD? Yeah, I think that that would be a hit, sure. Um, but CBD seems to be a good thing, so why would you want to take it out of it? So I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Mm. Thunderbird says SHMP is up 18%. Yeah, that one's been a crazy one, eh? Sheldon Snow says all flavor. Lorenzo says, Paul Eric Vino Hansen Smart. Paul Eric says, I think it would be a hit. It's like smoking weed, but your mom would approve of it. So you can still be cool and be a sweet man. <laughs> Scott Norris says, makes sense, Sheldon. Thanks. I thought through Amazon, it might be different. I guess not. No, it even says right on Amazon that you can't order it in Canada. Um, trust me, man. If I could have it in Canada, you guys have no idea. We'd blow up so fast. I'm in Canada. <laughs> it makes a big difference because I'm here. You know, it's hard to sell something in another country that you're not in where you don't have massive distribution already. So it's it takes a lot of work to build a brand in another country that you're not in when you're not in that country. Yeah, it's hard. Um, CR says, my biggest winner was ETH. I bought in at 1043, sold at 177. Do the math. Who sent this email? I'll send you my pick, no problem. And I'm 25 years old. Um, yeah, that's, that's not a, that's not, that's not going to, I have friends that bought Ethereum even lower than you, bro. Do your math. That's not turning 500 bucks into a million. That's less than 20 times your money. So $500 times 10 would be five grand. So that means you have turned 500 bucks into 20 K, which is good. No, 10K. That means you would have turned five less than 10K. That means you would have turned $500 into less than 10K. There's a big difference between turning 500 to a million and turning 500 into 10K. So you didn't even prove your point. And you're not the first person who bought Ethereum at 10 bucks. I got tons of friends that bought Ethereum even lower than that. So you're not the only one, bro. And you're not the only one that's bought crypto. Trust me. <laughs> I own crypto too. You're not the first person to talk about Ethereum, bro. And besides, Ethereum ain't much of an altcoin, okay? Ethereum is one of the biggest coins out there. So when you're talking about altcoins, I'm thinking more like these penny coins. So when you're talking about Ethereum, there ain't no shot in Ethereum going up thousands of percent. I'll tell you right now, that will not happen if that's what you're trying to say. So I'm very interested to see your pick because you just showed us a pick that went up, yes, but it did not go up from $500 to a million. 
So you can't even give me one pick that has gone up from $500 to a million, which is actually showing your youth because you said you're 25. So you're really showing us your youth. You haven't been trading for a long time and you're talking out of your ass, but that's okay. You're young. You'll, you'll grow up and you'll learn. It's okay. And anybody, I could show you Bitcoin, which has gone up from penny stocks to, you know, uh, 13 grand and be like, oh, that was my pick. Bro, show me your pick before it explodes. Don't talk to me about a pick after it's exploded and say, oh yeah, by the way, I bought Ethereum at 10 bucks and now it's at 177. Nobody cares. Give us a pick that's going to go up in the future. Not a pick that went up years ago. Give us a pick that's going to go up in the future. Give us one. Just one. Find me one. Ryan says, do you feel like right now is a good price for Cura and Tilray? I do. I do believe that both could go down, but I also believe that they both have enormous upside. I think both, in my opinion, in the entire sector, we could still see 20 to 30% losses on most of these top stocks. But I believe that long-term or even within the next six to 12 months, we will see 100% upside. So I think the upside for all of these top stocks is 100% or more. I think the downside is about 20 to 30%, in my opinion, because I believe we're near the bottom for the entire sector. Sheldon Snow says, Rich, make your company public. I would invest in you, brother. Hey, man, we will go public, and I'll let you guys know when, because we're working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes that people don't see. Scott Norris says, I'm with Sheldon. I appreciate you guys. And when we do go public, the community will be the first. We'll be the first to be able to invest. Sheldon says a lot of shorts on Tilray, 30% careful right now. Yeah, good point. Very good point. I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, to see them go down a little bit more, but I see the upside being great. I could see, easily see Tilray go back up to 50, 60 bucks. CR says, I will give you my pick. Check your email, goof. <laughs> hey, man, I can't wait to see your pick, bro. I can't wait. And CR, if your pick goes up, I will give you all the credit in the world, bro. I'll give you all the credit in the world, bro. I will. I got no hate. I got no hate for you, bro. You know, I'm from Toronto too. And believe me, I know a lot of guys in Toronto. So whenever you want to meet, tell me when and where, bro, and we'll meet. I, I have my friends meet you. How about that? I bet you we got a whole bunch of community members right now from Toronto that can come meet you. They can meet you too if you like. No problem. I'm from the T dot, bro, and I ain't 25. So we can meet anytime, brother. I know Toronto real well. Trust me. Lorenzo says, CR, stop bullshitting, bro. I'm your age also. Stop acting like a child. Keep it real. Hey, man, I didn't even have to say it. Anthony Wright says, How much more do you think Xenobis will go down? Like I said, I think anything could go down 20 to 30%, but I think the upside is 100% or more. Derek Owen says CTTH up 48%. That's big. Uh, Lock Dai Nugent says, can I get an altcoin stock pick that will skyrocket 2000% in 2020? Uh, Lock Dai Nugent says, need to get my 500 to a million. <laughs> Well, apparently, CR is going to email you the pick. CR says, I won't need your credit. <laughs> Scott Norris says, thoughts for IG&G. Had a great run, now holding strong. I think another jump again. Well, I think IG&G is very similar to Lightlink. I think under 10 cents, it's a buy. I think over 10 cents is where you want to sell it. So in my opinion, um, IG&G... You want to buy it under 10 cents, over 20 cents, you want to sell it. That's my opinion. It might go higher, but I also could see it going back to 10 cents. So I would definitely sell if I saw a profit. Max Power says, do you think we will have a Christmas rally this year? Yes, absolutely. I think we're going to have a rally between now and Christmas. Frank says, I just loaded up on Rivers at 227. That's a great entry for Rivers. CR says, I just said FaceTime me and you don't want to, LOL. But yes, Rich, we can meet if you like. Anytime, bro. Anytime. I don't need to FaceTime people. We can meet up. I'm a real person. 
I don't hide behind symbols and and channels and stuff. This is me, man. This is my backyard. I'm a real person. Derek Owens, did you ever grab Lightlink under 10 cents? I've never bought Lightlink. Never bought Lightlink. But I love the company and I love the underlying business. Honestly, I'm more focused on uh, I'm more focused on cannabis stocks. Um, Anthony Rice says, I think CR needs a hug from you, Rich. I want to meet CR so I can give him a hug. I do. Daniel Michael Cherrier says, like me, I don't hide. <laughs> Max Powers says, hoping the stocks at these prices for just another 30 days, then I can load up. Yeah, I think that uh, you probably get your wish. You know, it looks as though September is going to be a little bit more bumpy than I thought. CR says, you would think he's 25 the way he over-exaggerates. I'm over-exaggerating? Bro, you just said that you had a pick. You turned $500 into a million, and then you couldn't even give me one pick that would have turned $500 into a million. And I'm the one that's over-exaggerating? Come on, bro. Lorenzo says, next set of earnings is towards the beginning of November. Could be the start of a rally. I hope so. Yeah, I think the rally is imminent. I think it's kind of happening in a slow little way. But I think this week, what happened last week, it started. And this week, the vaping issue, I think that really hurt the sector. Uh, For Real says, CR, show the picks here live. Stop clout chasing. Hey, man. Dick riding and clout chasing, man. Dick riding and clout chasing. Daniel says, hello. What are we chatting about? Wheat stocks? CR says, so I'm not real. LOL, what the fuck you smoking? Hey, man. The only the good shit. We only smoke the good shit here. We only smoke the best. This is the uh, peacemaker. I'm still waiting for your pick, and hopefully we'll see. We'll see the pick. Uh, Max Powers says... Uh, Oh, yeah, these stocks will explode. I'm holding that Kira till it hits 25. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to happen. Panda says, can you bring CR on the show so everyone can turn 500 into a million? Nobody gets on the show until they actually give us a pick that actually wins. I'm not just going to bring someone on the show because they said they made a pick that went up. I want to see the pick. I want to see it go up. And then they can come on the show. I gladly bring them on the show. Max Power says, I think Trump will legalize for votes in 2020, then Kira will pop like Tilray. Yeah, I think it could explode. Daniel says, your best investment would be my music. <laughs> Anthony Rice says, stop reading CR messages. Oh, I think it's funny. It's entertainment. I'm having fun on this Friday the 13th. Tristan Kozov says, what company is the weed from, Rich? Uh, well, I don't get anything from licensed LPs. They're too expensive. Uh, you know, like around here, everybody grows. So <laughs> you don't need to go to a licensed LP here in Vancouver to, um, to get cannabis. There's very little licensed LPs out here. Actually, there's more private guys. Lock Dianujan says, rich post CRs pick here when you get them. Absolutely. I will. CR says, I never said that, LOL. Go back up to the top and see people who is over-exaggerating. Uh, no, I only read what you said word for word. But you can keep changing your story. It's okay. It shows your youth. It shows your youth. Daniel Michael Cherry says, I go on your show and play my guitar. Hey, if you can play well, then that's something we might be able to put together. Max Power says, Rich, you should have hot chicks in the background rolling joints. I think one day we will. That's a great idea. I love the way you're thinking. Anti-social atheist says, hello, everyone. Tristan Kazab says, that's why cannabis stocks will flop. They'll flop? Cannabis stocks will flop? Frank says, Rich, you need to support the LPs so stocks go up. Stop supporting the black market. Hey, man, the LPs need to get better product and they have to get better pricing. That's a fact. The LPs need to get better product and they need to get better pricing. Daniel says, I thought about moving to Colorado. 
Daniel says, I got over 100 songs written with seven CDs out. It's pretty good. What type of music is it? I like hip hop. So unless you, you play hip hop, I don't know if I'd be interested. Anti-social atheist says cannabis stocks will flop. I don't think so. Yeah, we <laughs> cannabis stocks are going to flop. Cannabis stocks are going to flop. People are going to stop smoking their pipes and people are going to stop smoking their CBDs and their weed and people are going to stop taking their CBDs. In fact, I'm going to take some CBDs right now. You guys want some CBDs? I'm going to take some CBDs. Max Power says black market rules. I just ordered three ounces from BC. Wow. <laughs> yep, that's where you get it. It's all over here. You don't even know the prices we get it for. You don't want to know. By the time it's all said and done, an ounce over here is going to be like 40 to 80 bucks. And I'm talking about the best. So why are you going to go to a licensed LP and how much are you going to pay for your ounce? Think about it. <sighs> What's a good song? For the community today. What's a good song? Here's one. Listen to the words. Listen to the words. I'm going to get some CBD. You clear? Red CBD? He's in the house, big money. You know what it is, man? all about. This is CBD. Cannabis. 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 CBD. So we got a little bit off topic, but we've been talking about Xenobis. So Xenobis, when tracking the company's growth, Xenobis has yet to provide the market with guidance, but it does offer a monthly cultivation forecast, facility performance, 
in comparison to design capacity. Grieve recommends investors track the company's license capacity and near-term production capacity. As the company completed the second quarter, it outperformed its Alphaville facility's original design capacity by 35%. The company updated its design capacity and outperformed the updated metric by more than 10% in July. Grieve also recommends investors watch the cost of cultivation. He believes the highest value players will have meaningful capacity at a low cost of cultivation. The future. As far as what it takes for cannabis companies to achieve global success, Grieve thinks the formula has yet to be defined. Growth itself is a challenge, particularly adding the people necessary to keep up with the needs of scale. But the industry's opportunity to disrupt is enormous. He sees the rest of the world looking to Canada as a model for successful legalizing and rolling out cannabis. Interesting. How long is this? Oh, this is 27 minutes? Today I'm speaking with Andrew Greaves, the CEO of Licensed Producer is Anubis. We'll be talking about the company's footprint, brands, and funding. Thank you for joining me today, Andrew. Thank you very much for having me. It's our pleasure. First off, can you talk about what you think differentiates the company from its competitors? I think what is very important to understand about Cenobis is our pace and our values. From a pace standpoint, Xenobis was actually quite a small licensed producer as of January when we created Xenobis through the amalgamation of Bevo and Sun Farm. At that point in time, we only had about five tons of production capacity. And at this point in time, we have more than 50 tons of production capacity. And we achieved that of licensed production capacity. We achieved that in about eight months. From here, we should be at our full initial build-out of more than 140 tons of license capacity by the end of the year. And therefore, what you can see is an incredible pace in terms of construction and licensing, going from 5 tons to 140 tons in less than a year. So pace is definitely something that differentiates us from our competitors. The other thing that I think is important to understand about the business is that we really are a values-based business. And our values are compliance, responsibility, excellence, and delivery of stakeholder value. And those values influence and drive every decision that we make. And therefore, when we have any conversation in the company, compliance is always a component of the discussion. Whenever we talk about the solution to a problem, we always want to ensure that we incorporate the value of excellence into the solution we come up with. Whenever we talk about how we interact with others within the company, we always try and take personal responsibility for our actions. And then every conversation is always framed around delivery of stakeholder value. And that doesn't just mean shareholders, it also means value for our employees and also for the communities in which we operate. And delivering value for the communities in which we operate is a really important component of being a good partner and results in having strong community support. Next up, let's talk about your background. You were an experienced entrepreneur and financial executive. What led you to the cannabis space and Xenobis? What led me to the cannabis space and to Xenobis in particular is I actually worked with the family that previously were the majority owners of Bevo Agro, which was one of the components that came together to build Xenobis. And I started working with the Benny family from Bevo on a controlled environment agriculture business called Cubic Farms. And I worked with them from essentially the point of inception of Cubic Farms all the way up until the point of the company being listed. And when the family considered entering the cannabis space, they asked for my perspective and asked for my assistance. Because I ended up putting together the amalgamation of Sun Farm and Bevo to create cannabis, the board of directors of Genevis, the new company, asked if I would come on as the CEO. And so even though this isn't something that you would expect based on my past background of a focus on finance and technology ventures. So I'm not going to get into the whole uh, story, um, but if you guys want to, you guys can go and you guys can listen to it. I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about it. 
And um, I think Xenobis is going to be a giant. I think it's going to be a beast. We've been live for over two hours, so I'm going to go now. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for watching. This is your boy, Rich, from Rich to be Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring your winners, and we bring them to you first. Xenobis, long-term giant. We can get in cheap. Just win, baby. Buy low, sell high. Invest in the best because the best is blessed and you deserve it. So why not own the best in your portfolio? Why invest in the worst when you can invest in the best? Okay. Thank you guys for being here. Happy Friday the 13th. Be careful out there on this Friday the 13th. Have a great weekend. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And I'm out. Been live for two hours and 19 minutes. We crazy. Peace.